This is the monstrification of Eastern Europe by Nina Weiner. That bullshit. What now? They say we crucified a boy. Oh yeah? <laughs> Did they say whether the boy came back to life on the third day? Say why we crucified him? Because he was speaking Russian. Did he explain why how he chose that particular boy to crucify out of everybody else who speaks Russian here? Don't you think you should be crucifying me right now, huh? After all, 
I am speaking Russian to you. I should be crucifying myself as well because I'm answering in Russian. <laughs> Maybe we should be crucifying each other. Imagine how awesome it will look as a title. <laughs> Mutual crucifixion near the village of Salichevka. A duel of fascists. No, no limits. I think the point is it should be two Russian speakers doing the crucifying. It's not quite the same if two Russian speakers crucify each other, you know? And maybe we should speak Ukrainian while we're doing the crucifying. Right, but then we'd have two Ukrainian speakers doing the crucifying. Huh? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's tricky, right? <laughs> <coughs> Can you even speak Ukrainian? Yeah. Well, it, it's not really Ukrainian that I speak. It's uh, my sister-in-law. Now she speaks beautiful Ukrainian. She she likes literature and shit. You should hear the talk. Real nice. What I speak is well, it's kind of Ukrainian, I guess. More of a mismatch, you know, like most of us. Are you even Ukrainian? <laughs> I'm a citizen of free and undivided Ukraine. So Russia then? <laughs> well, quite frankly, Jewish. <laughs> Jewish? What are you doing here then? Why don't you somewhere like Brighton Beach living a good life? Oh, <laughs> Brighton Beach, eh? Then what is that for me? My cousin, Misha, went there through the Jewish emigration, started driving a truck. His wife, in the meantime, learned English and left him for some Latino stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Latino it. Antonio Banderas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, eh? <laughs> the boy's mother could not see her boy crucified like that. She threw herself at the soldier's feet, but they only laughed. They took her by the hair and dragged her around. They dragged her all the way around the square. And she screamed and cried. My boy, my little son. Then they tied her to a tongue. Fucking crazy bullshit. What now? Apparently we tied a woman to a tank and dragged her around Central Square until she died. <laughs> Does anyone actually believe that shit? This is from the Iliad. <laughs> what? <laughs> the scene. Hmm? After a hero, Hector, I believe, was killed, they, they tied his body to a chariot and dragged it around the walls of Troy, while his parents stood on the walls and watched. It's like worse than death, taking the offense further than death. It's an eternal thing in the history of wars, the kind of stories people tell to commemorate them. I never went to college. No. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. What if in the future the man I take sees that? Hmm? 
I don't want him to think that I was raped. Can I say it was a neighbor? Well, a sister, maybe. What? That's crazy. Who would believe that? Why would anyone rape an elderly woman? Do you know what? I'm done here. Goodbye. I'm not going to say they raped my mother. stuff on the walls with his own blood. With his own blood? No. That's all no. no. He's not lying. He's my homeboy. We went to school together. He wouldn't lie. Nita. That's bullshit. Do okay. you know, I understand a freaking millionaires are dividing up how much land they're going to control. I get it. I have to be here. Where else am I going to go? his own blood? What the fuck? Victor! Honestly, he doesn't deserve it. The fucking monsters. 